Hello, hello, hello. Just wanted to pop in and say hi. Um, <laughs> my last video, I was a little annoyed. <laughs> uh, today's a good day. Um, tomorrow is uh, Lou Gehrig's day or Lou Gehrig's disease day. Um, poor Lou Gehrig had it, got diagnosed at age 36 and died at age 37. Was a really upstanding person. Um, hard worker. I mean, you know, the man had played with broken hands. I mean, tough, tough person. And most people you meet that do have ALS or MMD um, are tough people too. <laughs> well, you kind of have to, I mean, this disease is going to challenge you in every which ways and you can just decide to lay down and die or you can decide to get up and keep going. You know, a lot of people become advocates and um, fight for a cure, which um, it's a coming. You know, it really is. You know, it, the ALS Association had put out a thing I saw. One of their goals is that people, ALS will become a livable disease um, in 2035. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, I have a feeling that there are good things coming. You know, it's like, it's slow. I mean, we'd all like to have the cure of yesterday. And for some of us, when that comes out, we may not be here. But there's always hope, you know. Like today, my um, daughter got the award in third grade for mathematics. Um, it says that she's super, super smart, but she makes the teachers pull their hair out. But, you know, she writes down the answers and doesn't show her work all the time, but they're right. And it's like, it's true. I've, I've checked her um, homework and said, you need to write that down. She just thinks of a problem, writes down an answer, and I'm like, you just need the calculator. You're right. <laughs> How'd you do that? Pretty soon the kid's going to um, out outpace me in math but I mean this child um, got diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia she can read um, she's making straight A's um, you know that's hope you know you know it, it in a world where we've just gotten um, we're getting through a global pandemic we've had a worldwide um, shutdown there's the financial aspects to that. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> ah, swallowed the wrong way. <laughs> but, you know, there's, it's, a, it's a hard time for many people. You know, there's a lot of people that um, are in lines to get a box of food, um, you know, soup kitchens. Don't ever give up. You know, I mean, you can look at yourself and you can decide... You know, what's my goal? What's what's my purpose? You know, that and someone gets diagnosed with ALS, we do a lot of purpose thinking, right? <sighs> no matter what, even if you're in a point that hurts, things do get better. You know, don't ever give up. Um, you know, there's times when you get into somebody's in the advanced disease, you know, ALS, MND is a terminal diagnosis. And there's times when people are just ready to lay down. That's okay. But if you're not ready, if you are running into one problem, you know, finances, um, you lost your job, you know, keep trying to find a job. Keep trying to do that. Keep those intentions. Set your intention for the day. You know, I have a lot of in, um, intentions I set. You know, I meditate. <laughs> but, you know... You know, plant the seed, plant the seeds for hope, plant the seeds for, um, you know, I would say loving kindness. Some people would say prosperity, um, you know, plant all those seeds and take the action. You know, when you get caught in fear, when you get caught in anger, when you get caught in those that can blind you to seeing everything. So whether it's prayer, whether it's walking, whether it's um, for people that aren't advanced, whether it's meditation, whether it's listening to music, whatever you do to get to your point where you're quiet, you know, a lot of people prayer. <sighs> figure out what you want to do, figure out what purpose you want, and take that next step towards it. You know, I mean, there's hope. Don't ever, ever, ever lose your hope. You know, it's like, there's so much beauty. There's so much possibility. There's an infinite amount of possibility out there. 
you know, and a lot of that is how much we, how we look at things, you know. They say that luck is the skill of good observation and taking opportunities. That's what good luck is. <laughs> you know, just keep your eyes open today and the next couple days and find something that you really have hope in and work your way towards it. You know, it will happen. There are good things. And eventually a cure um, for Lou Gehrig's will happen. You know, it could be right out there pretty soon. You know, some of us may get it. Some of us may not get it in time. You know, but there's always the hope that we'll be happy and find peace, right? I mean, you know, it's all in your perspective, you know. So if it's a hard time, you know, cheer up buttercup. It can get better and it will get better. You know, whether you accept it better, whether you change your perspective on it. But don't ever lose hope. Keep your dreaming and dreaming, you know. Remember how to dream. <laughs> things get better, you know. Work on the things that you love, you know. It's, when I was telling my niece and my nephew that graduated, um, I get to see my nephew, he's coming down um, in June, which will be fun. <laughs> he's... He's, uh, I took him to his first concert, Dave Matthews, and it's really cool because he and his friends, he's working this summer um, landscaping, and he's going to um, go with a couple friends to meet up with a friend in another state, take a train, and they're all going to go see a Dave Matthews band concert. How awesome! So, <laughs> ah, you know, I love my nieces and nephews. Mm, 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 mm. So, and I'm happy about my little one. Now, my oldest one is doing good, too. I mean, I'm so proud of her. My son-in-law, I mean, whew. of course, she's watching a lot of TikTok. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's got this, you know, mom, all these cleaning products, TikTok cleaning. It's like, oh, my goodness. Hey, 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 Summer, come down. <laughs> oh, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, you know, I try to find something in life each day to laugh about. It's not really hard because, you know, if life is kind of funny, um, you know, and I have an odd sense of humor. <laughs> but even if you're having a hard time, take a deep breath. You know, a real easy one to do is if you're feeling like really stressed, if you have a real big stress thing, you know, think about when people are, you know, almost get hit by a car. People, you know, it's like, oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You know, just that simple um, moment, it's like a reflex. You put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath through your nose, maybe feel it in your belly, breathe through your nose. Sigh it out. Another deep breath through your nose to your belly. Hold it. Sigh it out. Another deep breath through your nose to your belly. Hold it. Sigh it out. Feel your shoulders relax. You know, you can keep doing that if you want to get in tune with your heart. Sometimes if you're really stressed, that can help, you know. Just sit with your heart. Think about what your heart wants. You know, what do you really want? <laughs> you know, I, with ALS and MMD, sometimes you're like, okay, what's my purpose? I'm still working on that. You know, <laughs> I really like people. <laughs> so I'm still, you know, working on the certification for um, yoga meditation teacher. Like, have an option pop up about being a coach. Um, you know, I do some of that, some of that, just I pick people up and I um, uh, talk to them. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you know, we've all been there, right? You know, sometimes people just need a little bit of compassion. And I'm just thinking, okay, coaching, I started mentioning, oh yes, and you can teach them asana, which is the yoga, yoga moves. And I'm thinking, I do pranayamas, the yogic breath and the meditation. But there's like eight arms to um, Patanjali's uh, version of yoga. And it's like, yeah, 
inverted handstands never going to happen with me. Back in my 20s, I was really a big, um, I could do that. I was very much in yoga. And if there's a cure for ALS, maybe I can get back there. But I guess I'll just cross the bridges as they come along. <laughs> but I'm just like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. You know, today is just a sweet little day. It's June 1st, first day of June. Um, happy Pride Month for those that are LTBJ or LTBGQ plus 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 plus. Um, um, you know, I hope you have a good month. <laughs> you know, um, and we go to Disease Day, and Father's Day is going to come up later in the month here in the states. You know, summertime here. I guess in other parts of the world, it's um, different seasons. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of good things in the world. And I know people are having a stressful time. Look for the, smell the um, roses. And, you know, you, you think, what, what, what? No, I mean, we've all got things. I mean, hell, I've got um, ALS, you know, terminal disease. You know, I find gratitude in things every day. It's a powerful practice. If you write down five things that you're grateful for every day, it's a powerful practice. If you just concentrate on things you're grateful for day in, day out, it'll build. You know, things are amazing. There is a hope in everything. And you know what? If you set your intentions, you know, intentions for things, you know, it, they will come along. You know, no one's perfect. No one's going to make the perfect thing. But don't look at the cracks. Look for the beauty. There's a lot of it out there. And right now may be hard for so many. Don't hang on to the stress. Don't hang on to the worry. It will be okay. And find things to take care of you. Whether that's grow food, exercise, uh, friends, family, um, music, uh, you know, reading good books. You know. Keep on moving, keep on trucking, you know, got to keep going. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you find some hope. <laughs> All right, y'all have a blessed one. Talk to you later. Bye.